Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series on the lives of the saints, and on this, the 30th of July, we celebrate the memory of the holy martyr Julita of Caesarea. Saint Julita was a rich widow in Caesarea in Cappadocia during the time of the persecution under Diocletian. A leading figure in the city, a man without scruples, full of cupidity and violent succeed violent, succeeded in seizing the major part of her estate, fields, villages, cattle, and slaves, and disdaining all justice, he did not hesitate to use false witnesses to bribe the judges to achieve his ends and to reduce her to complete penury. A court case was begun, and when it became clear that Julita's rights were about to be recognized, he accused her of being a Christian, which according to the edict recently promulgated by the emperor, deprived her of all civil rights. The judge immediately ordered that incense and an altar be brought and that Julita offer sacrifice to the gods of the empire so that she might enjoy the protection of the law. Without hesitation, the saint wisely realizing that it would be the height of folly to renounce eternal life in order to save her corruptible possessions, declared, then let it all be lost. Let this life disappear and all the glory and wealth of this world. For nothing would make me deny my creator and my God who created all things. When no argument was found to make her change her mind, and when she continued to respond to all propositions by repeating, I am a servant of Christ, it was decided to burn her alive. Jolita went to the flames with joyful ardor, exhorting the Christian women along the way to the pyre, saying, we too, like men, are created in the image of God, Virtue is possible for women as well as for men. Flesh of the flesh of Adam, bone of his bone, we must offer constancy, courage, virility, and long-suffering endurance to the Lord. Arriving at the place of execution, she mounted the pyre as though she were entering a life-filled bridal chamber, and flame, the flame seized hold of her, and her soul took flight to the Lord while her body remained intact and unharmed, a preliminary sign of the incorruptibility promised to the elect. Later, in the atrium of the basilica built over the site of her martyrdom, which was the most beautiful church in the city, a fountain giving forth water and healing properties miraculously sprang forth. By the prayers and supplications of the holy martyr Julita of Caesarea, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message on social media. Leave us a note in the comment section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you. Have a beautiful rest of your day.